Life Pro Tip When flying, put a tag with your info inside your bag. Not just outside, any tag on the outside can come off. Also, when a bag gets lost, the airline will open it to try to determine who it belongs to. Source Used to work at lost baggage for an airline. Once my sister was flying and there was no more room in the overhead bin. So she let them check it in and when she got to her destination there was no bag. The airlines couldn't find it so they sent her a check for all the value and five months later there was a receipt in her luggage that they were able to trace back and phone her. One time my bags were lost while flying. Happens all the time. What can you do? The airline found them and delivered them to where I was staying, by bicycle. On Christmas Eve, it was snowing. Fucking Switzerland. I write my name and address in all my underwear. Helps if my bag gets lost. And helps when I get lost. Even more important, always remove old tags from previous trips. Old tags confuse the scanners that direct bags through the belt system. I work in a sorting room and see bags miss flights every day because of this. Life Pro Tip When you're sitting at a drive through speaker, we can always hear everything, even if you think your interaction is over. Be careful what personal details you reveal to strangers. On the flip side, make sure you turn off your mic after you are done talking or wait until you are ready to talk to the customer before turning on your mic. Went to a brand new McDonald's near my house. The guy taking our order was clearly talking to his buddy when he faintly said, Come on. Man. Shit. Then. Welcome to McDonald's. Wife and I say that first part to each other nearly every time we go there. Hilarious. But some little old lady probably wouldn't have taken it so well. Maybe that's why the guy at the counter paid for the couple dollar menu things I got when after I ordered and realized it had forgot my wallet before work and started cursing and getting mad. Talking to myself like how am I going to buy lunch today now? I went back the next day and then gave him 10 bucks on top of what he paid for for that. I'd never expect that from a McDonald's worker who I know already don't get the best wages. I saw on the receipt he paid out of his credit card too. Oh my god. Last time I told my bro I hope the sweet blonde is giving us our food and she was standing there with a huge smile. Gonna use that knowledge now. I found this out after my sister and I had a whole argument over whether or not something at Taco Bell has beans in it when the worker came over the speaker to tell us who was right. We were both embarrassed as hell because they didn't hide their laughter at all. Life Pro Tip if you constantly vent your problems to someone, make sure to also call them when things are going well. Good listeners can sometimes get overwhelmed. And it's nice to hear positive news. To add to that, also make sure you're available to let them vent their problems. Relationships are a two-way street. This especially goes for if you're ranting to someone about a person you're in a relationship with. If you're constantly telling the person about the shit things your partner does. They're going to get a really negative view of them. Make sure to tell them good things about your so as well. Such a good advice. I have a friend I've been sort of distancing myself from because all she does is vent her problems. And always finds a way to think negatively. Also if I try to tell her anything positive or negative going on with me the subject gets changed. To how her life is going. Spoiler alert. It's awful. As someone who's been in the shoes of the listener, this is great advice. It makes me feel used if you only call in times of trouble. Life Pro Tip When you receive a hospital bill, ask them for an itemized bill and it will be much cheaper. As with most financial information, you should take advice received over the internet with a grain of salt and talk to a certified professional if you're in need of advice. Edit because it was unclear. This comment is more of a caution. Don't blindly follow advice off the internet without further research. I'm definitely not a fact checker and I don't know the credibility of the poster or the people in the comments who disagree with this post. Use your resources and be smart with your money. People, I'm going to the hospital pretty soon. 
with garbage insurance. So I'll be sure to try this. Thanks. Edit. Thanks for the advice, everyone. I'm taking screenshots, so I can try some things if it comes to it. Maybe my hospital is more brazen than others. They sent me a bill for Miss Pharmacy. Motrin 60 Court. Call us. Pepsi AC $285. I love this was word to word from a TikTok video. Life Pro Tip. Be careful not to let your guard down in conversations with figures of authority when they conversation is informal, friendly, and non-accusatory. After my company was bought out, a lad at my work met the new exec at a function. What do you do? said the exec. I'm the DBA. But I work from home. So I don't do anything really. Haha. <laughs> Next working day. Work from home was permanently cancelled. I've been telling my staff for years since then. There is no such thing as a casual conversation with senior management. Edit. Thanks. Kind stranger. I will do the Reddit silver dance. Op deserves all the credit for the original LPT. Pro tip from one my bosses. Always assume your conversation is recorded. Made this mistake early in my career. Thought my boss had my back on some things and she flipped on me for the company. Won't make that mistake twice. Had a boss who would always talk to me about the stuff on Netflix he was watching. Interesting articles, etc. Later on when they wanted to get rid of me he wrote me up for having casual conversations around the office. Life pro tip if you think someone has forgotten your name. Skip the awkwardness and mention it in third person. So I says to myself, felonious thunk, I says. This motherfucker looks like he forgot your dang name. It makes George very sad when you forget George's name. Jack is pleased to see you again. Jack enjoyed the last time Jack saw you and wishes Jack could see you more often. I just admit up front I don't remember their name. Which I mostly don't. Then we get to bond over how bad we're at remembering names. Life Pro Tip When encountering an English word with an umlaut, the two little dots, know that it is there to tell the reader to pronounce the second vowel independently of the first. Naive and the names OE are excellent examples of this. An umlaut will never hacker over singular vowels. If you say naive like naive, you're naive, you naive. You mean diaresis. Looking in the comments for the inevitable exception to the rule. Tell that to Motley Crew. Life Pro Tip When an app asks you if you want to leave a review on the App Store. Instead of tapping no, choose yes. Wait for it to send you to the review page. Then close it. It will think you left a review and won't bother you anymore. I've actually left reviews for apps I liked and they still ask me to rate it. Like how Reddit keeps asking me to rate its mobile app. Every time I've done this it works. Except with Reddit. I've even reviewed the stupid app and it still wants me to review it. As a mobile app developer, I can confirm this. There is no API for an app to know whether you actually left a review. Life Pro Tip when things go bad at a job, good people leave, eventually followed by people who thought they could change things but got buried because too many good people left. Those left are bad people or hostages. The good people are your canary. I worked myself nearly to suicide trying to save a company. Never again. Unless it's my company and my dream. Pouring everything into someone else's dream to that level is damaging. I'm only now starting to come to terms with the damage and start to heal. I would say this is true. I'm currently a part of the second group but have come to realize that you simply cannot polish a turd that upper management is crushing on. And I have a co-worker that is definitely a hostage because the job has permanently injured her. She leaves they stop paying workmen's comp. It's so bad that co-workers are quitting without having a new job lined up. And I'm seriously contemplating the same. I left a job about a year ago and I can easily see who are the hostages and who are the bad people. Seven people left after me and before me three did. Too bad the board does not see what is happening to what could be an amazing association.
seeing this right now and I think I am in the hostage group disappointed face. Life pro tip. Who, whom is the same as he, him. If you use who in a sentence, mentally substitute he. If you would say him instead, then whom is the correct pronoun in that case. Ah yes, I remember that bit on Chi with Stephen. Knock knock, who's there? Quote, to, to who? Quote, to whom? For him the bell tolls. Stated another way, whom is simply the object version of who, which is a subject. Subjects do. Objects are done. To. Objects are also things subject. As in. Subjected. To prepositions. To. From. In. On. Etc. Who gave you that? Who is a subject. Doing the giving. To whom did you give that? Whom is an object of a preposition. To. He hit them. He is a subject. Doing the hitting. Whom did he hit? Whom is an object. Being hit. When someone knocks on the door I wouldn't ask either, he is it, or him is it. Quote, what should I do in this case?